Italians are preparing to go into lockdown again. On Monday, much of the country will be under tougher COVID-19 restrictions. The move is aimed at stopping an alarming surge in cases. In recent days, infections have soared above 20,000 cases daily. And as our Europe Bureau Chief Crystal Gumansing reports, every effort is being made to ensure this spring is not a repeat of last year. It is a sense of deja vu for doctors in Italy. This hospital in the Lombardy region was one of many unable to cope with the onslaught of illness when the pandemic first hit. Last spring's events are still fresh in our minds, says the Italian Prime Minister. We will do everything we can to prevent them from happening again. Daily life is already restricted in many regions, such as Campania. Naples' famous seaside walkways are empty, along with piazzas and non-essential shops. Come Monday, new strict measures could be in place across much of Italy. Regions such as Lombardy and Lazio, where Rome is located, may be shut down completely. The government updated the criteria for red zones to include any area with more than 250 new weekly cases per 100,000 people. The measures are expected to remain in place until April 6th. I'm worried, says this woman. My 14-year-old daughter is working virtually for school. She is losing her best years of adolescence like this. From morning to night, she is inside the house in her pajamas. Italians have been told for the Easter weekend they're not to leave their home unless it's for work, health or an emergency. The Prime Minister acknowledged the economic and psychological impact of the measures. Italy was the first Western nation to impose a national lockdown on March 9, 2020, confining roughly 60 million people to their homes. A year on, there have been more than 101,000 COVID-19-related deaths, and national daily infections have been above 20,000. <laughs> To support hospitals, a new traveling intensive care unit is available. Eight converted train coaches can transport up to 21 patients by rail. The main train station in Rome is also doubling as a vaccination center. It was as good as it could be. I didn't have to wait outside. I was seen by somebody who could help me with English. The guy who administered the vaccine was excellent. Vaccines and lockdowns are the tools at hand. It's hoped the combination will be strong enough to prevent a repeat of last year. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.